Even though the enemy outnumbered Kanar's army by about 50%, they ended up being slaughtered by the incredible performance of Leuven's forces that were led by Raven and thanks to that they managed to take the enemy fort. And with the end of the battle that went on for more than a month, Raven returned very ill after the 12th birthday of ARS, who went to welcome his comrades who were worried about his injuries, but the boy reassured them, since it had been caused by his training and wanted to know how his father was doing. So Reed says that it was as described in his letters, where Raven fought bravely but perhaps as a rebound effect. As soon as the battle was over he felt the effects of his illness and having participated in a long battle while he was sick must have weighed heavily on him and ARS says that this was his own fault for making him go to war, but Ruzel and Reitz try to convince him that it wasn't his fault after all he was already weak. But ARS thanks them for their words and asks them to let him know if something happens to his father, since he was now going to train leaving Ruzel worried about the boy and Charlotte says that they told her that ARS has been training every day as if her life depended on it. But they hear someone entering the house and come across Leisha who apologizes for coming without telling them but wanted to know how ARS was making Reitz worried but the girl confesses that she was very worried about ARS and that's why she decided to come since as they exchange letters often she can notice that he always wrote heated words where he could feel his true emotions but when the conflict started she noticed a change in his writing and there seemed to be no difference, but she could feel him distant now that his letters lacked the emotions he felt and so she wanted to know if something had happened so Reitz asks her not to be offended since he had his reasons, but Charlotte asks him to tell the truth and he starts telling him about the day of the execution and it seems that ARS has been suffering from his feelings for not being able to fight and blamed himself for Raven's health condition having worsened making. Leisha wonder how she could have been so deplorable and even though she was his fiance, she couldn't do anything while ARS suffered so much and asked where he was then Reitz replies that he was training. And as soon as she gets to where ARS was, she calls him, but ARS doesn't listen to her, since the soldier had knocked him down and was advising him to stop for today, since his body couldn't take it anymore. But ARS replies that he would continue and his father had fought bravely even in a serious condition, and he just wanted to be able to protect everyone just like him. And upon hearing his words Leisha decides to close the door and Reitz asks if she wouldn't talk to him, but the girl replies that now was not the time and one of the maids runs to them, and warns them that Raven had woken up leaving everyone thrilled and excited to warn the ARS but the woman asks them to wait because Raven wanted to talk to the three first. But first I ask you to subscribe to the channel to help this beginner in the goal of a thousand subscribers, so don't forget to like and comment a lot to receive the next episode. But now let's go to the video. The three of them reunite with Raven who with a smile apologizes for having given them a hard time and getting sick again and Charlotte says that she had never seen him with that face and asks if he had hit his head leaving his companions distressed. But Raven asks them not to worry, after all he was not talking like their lord and would like to know what they thought of their lives and Levant and Reitz replies that compared to his life before there was. Paradise and Ruzel had a lot of fun and. Charlotte replies that he considered his home which makes Raven happy since he called them, because he wanted to say something since he knew that soon he would no longer be with them and admits that he did not know what to do when ARS brought Reitz a Malcano, Charlotte, a woman, and Ruzel, a five-year-old boy, who ended up becoming the pillars of the Dominion and he was grateful that they had come to the Leuven house, in addition to being proud of them, but he had a favor that he would like to ask regarding the ARS, who was not yet strong enough for the war and entrusting the leadership of the Dominion to him was something very cruel, but being facing his end made him realize that there was still a lot he needed to do and should have taken him to the battlefield when he was still well to teach him that the world was a hard place while I could still protect him only now it was too late and so he would like them to support ARS and he wasn't asking for it as a lord but as a father and could just be an owl father but he was a kind boy that he was loved by the people and just as they saw he had the ability to see the potential of people and it was his son who made him proud making Ruzel start to get emotional while saying that if it wasn't ARS he would continue to blame himself and would never have understood himself with his family and that's why he wanted to study more and more to help ARS who gave him confidence and Charlotte admits that he didn't know about these things of domination but even so he wanted the future he longs to achieve after all ARS who gave meaning to his life and didn't even need to ask after all she didn't intend to serve anyone else but him and the same was given to RITZ who promises that if anyone tries to get in the way of ARS he would fight until he was the last one standing and would protect him even if it costs his own life but Raven didn't want to that is yes that he stays alive to protect him and the three of them thank him for accepting them making Raven smile, but Reitz makes a request of him. And after a while Reitz calls Leisha and the three of them leave, then the girl greets Raven who was sorry to present herself in this state and asks if she remembered the first time they saw each other. But the girl did not remember having found him and Raven says that he was the one who asked her to be ARS's fiancé, and when he saw her for the first time, he thought she was very adult for her age, and while a boy threw a tantrum next to her. She tried to console him and even gave him some biscuits, 
making Raven realize that she possessed a great kindness within her and remembered thinking that she wanted a girl like her next ARS. Despite the territory of the Leuven house being small and her son not being so trustworthy, but Leisha interrupts him and agrees that the kindness ARS left him vulnerable. But even so, ARS was trying to overcome it to be like him, making Raven smile when he realizes that she has fallen in love with ARS, and the girl admits that she loved him from the bottom of her heart, which makes Raven grateful, so he asks her to call ARS. And when leaving, she warns that Raven asked them to call ARS and thanks Riotaz for her kindness who had asked Raven to receive her and after the girl leaves, Reitz remembers some moments with Raven since she met him and their first combat in addition to their battles. And finally ARS meets with his father and says that he wanted to test some medicinal herbs that he thought could help him. But Raven smiles when he sees that he has grown up a lot and says that he was his age when he decided to become a warrior and begins to tell him about his past and that he was not born in Lambert but in a rural province of Mission where the Lord was a tyrant and collected absurd taxes making his people having a poor life. But as he couldn't stand it, he fled to the city at the age of 12 and coincidentally, it was the day that the ruler of Mission was visiting the city and as vague as his memories may be. He remembered very well his heart racing at the sight of the grandeur and grandeur of the governor and it was at this moment that he decided to become the kind of man who would rule and he led many soldiers, and since then he studied alone the art of the sword to become a soldier and fought with all his heart until he was recognized for his deeds and was nominated by Lumire until he gained a mastery and recognizes that time passed quickly and admits that his servants, people and family besides everyone who lives in Lamberg were his treasures which he gave his life to protect, but it seems that ARS felt responsible for his worsening and asks him not to think that after all it was the way he chose to live, so he shouldn't feel responsible, since now he was counting on him who starts to get emotional, but ARS holds back his tears, and with a confident look he agrees to take care of everything and Raven admits that his expression had improved despite being his son brought a great weight to him, but ARS replies that he was mistaken, since he was happy to be his son, making Raven smile as he said that he now spoke words worthy of a man, and so they spend all night talking and filling up on tea, but the next morning Raven is gone. And we get to the beginning of the first episode where everyone was gathered giving the last goodbye to Raven and ARS told everyone that his father taught him many things besides being an amazing man who left Lamberg and everyone in his hands and admits that he was not strong like him, but just like Raven he swears to care and protect everyone more than anything and would like everyone to help him doing the population start, screaming that they were by his side and would protect him in Raven's place. So he was supposed to do his best and his companions start to remember the moments by Raven's side who took care of Charlotte on the battlefield, so that in the future she could make an effort when ARS was on the battlefield and covered Ruzel, who was cold, while studying, so that he could be useful to ARS as soon as possible, but Raven wanted the boy to grow up little by ARS's side, after all. He was still a child and as for Leisha, she remembers him asking her to support ARS closely and asks for forgiveness for his inappropriate speech, but he was happy to be by their side and at this moment ARS thanks everyone and wished his father to watch over them and announces that from now on he was the master of the house Levant and all kneel before ARS because now the legend of the house of Levant had begun. But in the meantime a woman asked for details from some men who commented that the ruler of mission had his life taken by his own son during the succession dispute. And so we end another episode. Thank you very much to those who stayed so far and don't forget that little help with your like, subscribe and share. Thank you and see you next time.